Oh, is this what we're doing? We're, we're, we're doing E, Nasus. Okay, brilliant. Thank you. Oh, I knew that was in the turret, yet I still tried Twitch chat. Why did I try? Where the fuck did this asshole come from? Wait, what? Where could he possibly have jumped from to get over here? Are you telling me you can jump from here to over here? Now that just feels too long to me, Twitch chat. And then the fact that he just instantly appeared giving me no time to react. Okay. Now, I'm not saying that Kha'Zix could be winning this game, but if he wasn't AFK, he could probably be winning the game. I mean, I have everything warded, I just didn't expect him to be waiting in my fucking brush for so long. Especially because the Nasus gave nothing... Like, he, the Nasus was just sitting there farming. He wasn't, like, giving away that he had a, 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 a jungler or anything. I really don't like the Nasus lifesteal buffs. You know, I just don't feel like someone should be able to full heal off, like, one wave. I don't know. Maybe I'm the crazy one. Maybe full healing off one wave is the future. Maybe if they wanted to buff, like, his early game lifesteal, they should have, like, buffed his early game lifesteal and not his early game and late game and mid game lifesteal. Sometimes I feel like Riot just does shit like this because they fucking hate their player base. Like, I can't really think of a reason to buff Nasus other than they hate their fucking player base. Can't even think of a reason, like, did anyone ever say to themselves, boy, I really like fighting this Nasus champion, and boy, I wish he was more viable. If there's one thing I enjoy in life, it's fighting Nasus. Well, I don't know why we let Rengar AFK on top the entire early game. Oh! Did I just do 290 damage? Wait, what? Oh, okay. Well, Zoe was behind me anyway, so I was gonna die no matter what. I think this game's actually just over. Nasus has just got a free farm, or free ride into late game. And our Kaw seems to be incapable of understanding that even if you don't jungle, you're kind of obligated to gank, because that's what the jungler does. So maybe saying, I don't jungle, then refusing to gank isn't a winning strategy. Yeah, GG. I really don't want to play this one out. He's doing fucking Krugs. No. We can't. It's so fucking over. I really doubt- if, Even if Kassadin did pop off, he would not be able to turn this game around. I feel like people just go into complete denial in games like this and just start denying, like, fucking reality. Yeah, guys, maybe Kassadin will pop off. Can we open now? Not jungling is not an excuse for AFKing. No other role would get away with that shit and it would be reportable. Jungle is the only role where you're, like, allowed to troll the fuck out of your team, and it's totally okay because, oh, I'm not good at jungle. If you played support and you just AFK'd on your turret, that would be trolling. If you played top lane and you didn't go top lane and instead went mid lane, that would be trolling. If you played jungle and you just AFK the entire game, apparently that's acceptable behavior for some reason. How about this? How about when you're doing Krugs? Stop fucking doing Krugs and play the game! No one does Krugs! This is what I'm saying. Get right in here to ban people like this Kha'Zix and you'll clear up rank so quickly. This should actually just be bannable behavior in my opinion. No, I actually think doing what Kha is doing should be 100% reportable. It should be bannable, it should be reportable, you should be removed from the game if you do shit like this. No, I mean look at him, he's literally just cleared the jungle from the top to the bottom, backed, cleared the jungle from the top to the bottom, backed, Cleared the jungle from the top to the bottom, back. Tell me, is that not reportable? Is that not, like, AFK? Who can win with a jungle like that? Like, the thing is, no one can win with a jungler like that. It's impossible. 
So you're basically being fed a game where you can't win, and I, I'll never understand how that's not considered reportable behavior. If a support goes AFK under the bot turret and just stays in XP range and otherwise just stays back here, never casts an ability, never does anything, they're gonna get banned. Someone's gonna post it on Reddit, they're gonna get banned, right? But when a jungler effectively does that same thing, for some reason, that is not considered bannable behavior. Yeah, I don't know. The whole FF vote thing needs to be... I don't know how many times I have to press Counter-Strike for it to Counter-Strike. I actually just couldn't use any abilities there. I could move, like my character moved, but I couldn't use anything. I, I didn't Counter-Strike, I didn't put a ward down, I didn't hop to the ward that I would have put down. He did it, Twitch chat. He left the jungle for his first gank. I mean, he promptly died, but at least he left the jungle. Watch his streams. If you think TF Blade gets camp like this, watch his fucking stream. I think people have a serious misconception about top lane. No, TF Blade would not be 09 because he would not be 1v2ing top lane. In fact, the majority of the time, he actually has the jungler advantage. Uh, I mean, I'm kind of a little bit pissed that Rengar's first gank started with Rengar literally just appearing in lane because the server lagged and didn't even tell me he was coming. So, like, the first thing that happened was Rengar just appears next to me, auto-attacking me. Not really giving me any chance to respond to the situation. That kind of sucked. Not gonna lie. Why can't people get in trouble for ghosting? Because everyone throws a bitch fit when junglers actually try to stream the game. Wait, that went right through him! Wait, what?! Wait, Rengar flashed into the Swain route and it didn't hit him. No shit, if I was allowed to just AFK farm for X minutes, I would be pretty strong too. Unfortunately, as a top laner, better jungler always wins. What is with this meme of people saying jungle is nerfed when jungle has never actually been stronger? I'm actually starting to think, can you, can you guys name a time jungle has been stronger than it has right now? I think this is actually the strongest jungle has ever been in history. Jungle has so much ability to just absolutely destroy a lane with no repercussions whatsoever. It's insane. Jungle can, in, in a simple rotation, level 2 gank top, level 2 gank top again, level 3 gank top, level 4 gank top, back, level 5 gank top, level 5 gank top again, level 6 gank top, and the thing is, they're not even trolling by doing that. that. That would actually just be a normal clear path. The problem is that a single dragon isn't going to change the game. If you camp top out of the game, even if it's an infernal dragon, an infernal dragon isn't going to save the game. That's why most top junglers, the first thing they do... Well, the mouse is screwed up. The first thing a jungler does is secure top lane. Then once they have top lane secured, then they play the rest of the game. So like, you'll notice when I do it with Kira's mind, the first thing he does is he secures top lane. Every time, that's his strategy, he secures top lane. Because that's the easiest thing to do. Even if you don't intend to gank top lane, it's just easiest to ensure that top lane isn't being camped into oblivion. You know, I'm just saying, maybe he could come to that gank. That would have been pretty cool. It wasn't really even a gank, it was more of them just diving me, and then continuing to dive me, and then continuing to dive me, and then just continuing to dive me. How do we win our duo games? Uh, I don't like we do, Simon. I'll be honest, I, I'm pretty sure if we actually looked at our win rate, it would be like 40%-ish. 
Like, we go on win sprees sometimes, but we also tend to go on lose sprees, where, especially because we're dueling and so our, our teams are going to be lower MMR, we get our mid and our jungle blown the fuck out, and then we just can't do anything. I 100% believe people like Caught should be bannable, and that is the only way you'll fix NA. NA is such a shit pile. I, I 100% am of the firm belief that doing stuff like what that COD did should be bannable. I 100% I believe that. I, it, NA just cannot be a real region while you have shit like that going on. It doesn't matter if he's auto-filled. I don't understand. Do you guys realize that auto-filled doesn't give you an excuse to troll? I I've never understood that mentality where you guys truly 100% believe that because you're auto-filled, you can troll, but only if you're the jungler. If you're auto-filled mid, you don't get the mandate to troll. If you're auto-filled support, you don't get the mandate to troll. Nobody plays Master Yi support and people say, it's okay, he's an auto-filled. But for some reason, when you troll as jungle on auto fill, everyone's like, it's okay, man, he's an auto fill. No problem. I do not think it takes skill to watch junglers and just copy their pathing. When I get auto filled to jungle, I just copy a top lane gank path. That that's literally what I do. I just go, oh, this is what other people do to gank top. And I just I just copy that path and I gank top. That's what I do. It's not like I invent jungle pathing. I don't practice jungling. I literally just copy other people and do what they do because that's how you win games.